In this video, we are going to see about maxima and minima of functions of two variables. Let us recall the maxima and minima of single variables. Given a function y equal to f of x, the equation is said to have maximum at a if the first derivative of the function at a equal to 0 and the second derivative of the function at a is must be less than 0. If these two conditions are satisfied, then we say the function is maximum at a. Similarly, if the first derivative at a equal to 0 and second derivative is, is greater than 0 at a, then we say the function to be minimum at a. This we already know. Now, let us see about the working rule for finding maxima and minima of two variable function that is f of x comma y. Okay. So, to find maxima and minima in first case for single variable, we want to know the, whether the first derivative is equal to 0 or not at the point A. So, here also we take the first partial derivative should be equal to 0 where at the point a comma b it is a ordered pair ok. So, there since, since it is a single variable we have only one point since we have two variables x and y the solution will also be an ordered pair a comma b ok. So, let a comma b denote the solution of the equation. So, it has to the solution means it has to satisfy the first order partial derivative that is do f by do x is equal to 0 and do f by do y equal to 0. Okay. So, next after finding this we are going to find the values of do square f by do x square at the point a comma b and note that value to be a. Next we are going to find about dou square f by dou x dou y at the point a comma b and we will get a value we will denote that as a b. Next we are going to find dou square f by dou y square at the point a comma b and we are going to know that value as c. Okay. After have having found a, b and c the first step which we have to do is that find the value of a c minus b square ok. What we have to do? We have to find the value of a c minus b square. If the value is greater than 0 we may proceed. So, the, the value first point is that if the value is greater than 0 and we have got some value for a and some value for b right. If a is less than 0 or b is less than 0 then we say this two variable function that is f of x comma y has maximum at a comma b ok. Similarly, for finding minimum also this a c minus b square great must be greater than 0 and in this case a or b must be greater than 0. Then we say the function f of x comma y has minimum at a comma b all right next next case is that uh, so we have seen a c minus b square is greater than 0 next suppose if a c minus b square is less than 0 then what is that case so it has neither a maximum nor a minimum at a comma b okay so, and this point a comma b is called as a saddle point. If a c minus b square is less than 0 at a comma b, then we call this point to be a saddle point. Okay. Next, so we have seen a c minus b square greater than 0, a c minus b square less than 0. So, what if a c minus b square equal to 0? So, we cannot get any information when a c minus b square is greater equal to 0. So, only case where we can find maxima and minima is that a c minus b square must be greater than 0. Okay. Now, coming on to the problem. 
uh, find the maxima or minima value of the given function is u equal to x cube y square into 1 minus x minus y. So, let me tell the procedure for finding this. So, first what we have to do is find the first partial derivatives that is dou u by dou x dou u by dou y. Next having this we are going to find dou square u by dou x square dou square u by dou x dou y and then dou square u by dou y square. After finding this since we need a point so that we can find the value of a, b and c. So, in order to know what, where the point is we have to we know that first derivative must be equal to 0. So, we have got the first derivative we are going to equate that to 0 then we will get 2 equations ok. After getting 2 equation we are going to solve for x and y. So, then we get 2 points x and y. After getting those 2 points we going to substitute in these dou square u by dou x square dou square u by dou y square and dou square u by dou x dou y. So, after substituting in this we will get a, b and c. So, after uh, uh, having found a, b and c next step is that finding the value of a c minus b square. If the value of a c minus b square is greater than 0 we may proceed or else we have to stop there. So, if a c minus b square is greater than 0 we have to check next is that any of the value whether a or b is less than 0 or greater than 0. If it is less than 0 we will conclude as it is maximum or if it is greater than 0 we will conclude as minimum and at the point a at the point we will substitute the points in the uh, function and find the maximum value this is the procedure of the problem. So, here that is it I will scroll down you may see first I have found the first derivatives and the requirements and found the values of x and y uh, so I got the point I have uh, found a b c and uh, after finding a b c I have got the values a to be this b to be this and c to be this. After for finding a b c I have found a c minus b square which is positive and here a is negative for this problem it is maximum and hence after finding I have substituted in the function and found the maximum value. So, this is the 